Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and it's time for a grocery haul. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is show you the groceries in the bags, because we were rushing from the discount store, and <laughs> Rick packed the bags crazy, and I told him, I was like, I'm gonna put that on the video. <laughs> <laughs> so take a look at what happened before I do the grocery haul I just want to show you guys Rick bagged these <laughs> and I told him I was gonna tell you show you <laughs> but he about made me cry with how he he literally was just throwing stuff like look at this yes I'm shaming him <laughs> but look no, like it's boxes like why wouldn't why Richard Beal wouldn't you stack boxes or put them neatly it's like he just tossed them in there and it's like poking holes in the side of the bag like look poked a hole in there <clears throat> and I was just like why are you doing that so anyway I haven't even, I've, I've got to get everything set up on the table but I had to show you this because he just was like throwing stuff in the bag I'm like ah it hurts my my sensitive heart, my, my sensitive organized heart. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it and set all this up neatly and be happy. <laughs> How dare you bag the groceries in an unorganized <laughs> manner. <clears throat> Put the boxes with the boxes, the bottles with the bottles. But why organized. not neatly stacked? Why toss them? I'll eat them in there. Maybe I'm way too uptight, I don't know. <laughs> but it just drives me crazy. Okay, I know I'm probably being really picky. I'm probably being really picky. <laughs> but, but I was just like, what in the world? You know, I met Rick at a grocery store and I ran the front end and he was a bagger. And I taught him to bag. And I was like, how dare you? Like we do Instacart and we have to make sure everything is bagged nicely. It's like, you make sure everything else is bagged nicely. What's going on with my groceries? Anyway, I know, pet peeve, right? Pet peeve. But let me show you now <clears throat> that I got everything set up. I'm going to show you the totals. And I'm going to show you what I bought. And let me just show you the receipts. Okay, here we have two receipts. And at my discount grocery store, you can see we spent $43.07. And then at Food Lion, I spent $17.96 for a total of... $61.03. So a little over 60 bucks. And this is what we purchased. I was looking at this going, is this $60 worth of food? And the truth of the matter is, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is actually much more than $60 worth of food, you know, if before now. Um, but I'm, I'm just really thankful for all the deals that we did get. So I'm going to start with food line, which was the $17 and 96 cents, which is the things that were really more expensive on the whole. So cantaloupe here was on sale for $2.50 and Rick thought that was a good deal. So went ahead and do that. He, he knows the produce prices. Had to get my raspberries. I mean, you know, they're my raspberries. I love them, $2.99. Bananas. I mean, these are just basic things. 86 cents for six bananas. I mean, again, another basic, not too shabby. Um, bag of salad. Again, nothing major, $1.79. Oh, this says $1.99 on it, but this is actually free. My mom had bought this. This is decaf coffee and then decided she didn't want it. So she gave it to us. So mom paid $1.99 for it, but it was free to us. So we picked it up while we were out. So this is two containers. That's a, that's a sneak peek on a thrift store haul and something I'm washing and had to lay flat to dry. Ignore that. Anyway, um, there were um, rolls of ground turkey, the butterball ground turkey, and there are two of them here. They were on sale for $3.79, so I got two of those. And then two of the dressing mixes, they were 50 cents each. And then the brown gravy mix, you guys, I had already bought a brown gravy mix. This one's 89 cents. I don't know why, it just slipped my mind and I ended up getting another one. And it was way more expensive. I just, I have no excuse. It's not like it won't get used, but you know. I get mad at myself sometimes when I overspend. So anyway, this is actually for under $20, <clears throat> a lot of fruit and veg, the coffee was free, and two pounds of meat. I mean, I think I did pretty darn good 
in terms of just getting the things we needed at Food Lion. Everything else is the discount grocery store, which is $43. And, you know, there's some pricier items here, but I think we got some really, really stellar deals. So let's talk about the things that we got. So we'll just start at the front here. <clears throat> Dial soap. This soap is on sale. It's Rick's favorite soap. It's on sale for $3.50 for six bars, which is like half the normal price, if not more. So we just picked one up because they still had them in stock and we want to just keep stocking up when we can. Chocolate chips. I did just buy a bag of chocolate chips. And Rick just did eat that bag of chocolate chips. So, so another one, $1.50. I'm trying not to buy too many snacks, but you know, a little bit of chocolate here and there is, is not too, too bad, I don't think. Um, coconut milk. They had this light organic coconut milk for a dollar each. Great deal for coconut milk. I got two of them. This is Brianna's, let's see, Asiago Caesar dressing was $1.79. Good deal for that. Angel hair pasta. These were two for a dollar. Now we actually have a bunch of pasta here at the house, but I was like two for a dollar. Let me grab a couple of those. I should have grabbed more. I really should have. I probably should have grabbed at least six, but it's neither here nor there. I got two. That's how it is. This macaroni and cheese is on sale for $1.49, and we actually um, had it last week. We really liked it, so we got four of them. That's a little stock up item. Scalloped potatoes I've been in the mood for. I got two of those for a dollar each. Over here, I have this pizza sauce. Again, when I see it, I grab a couple, a dollar each. They're going to go in my stock up. These kadam grape juice, kosher grape juice. Um, you know, Passover's coming. <laughs> so, um, they were 35 cents each, so I went ahead and got three of those. And I'm actually, I, I, it's like my favorite grape juice, so I was looking forward to having that. The Sara Lee Butter Bread, a dollar each. And again, I say it every week, but I think a dollar for a loaf of bread right now is just the most <laughs> amazing deal because they're so expensive. But, you know... We got two of them. One's going to go in the freezer for now. One we'll have out fresh. And I was very, very happy to get it. Rick and I have been talking about sweet potato chips recently, just how much we like them, how good they are. And when we were at the discount store, we saw these and we were so excited. They're only a dollar each because normally at a regular store, you can't come near affording them. They're like five or six dollars for a bag. So I was very glad to get two bags for a dollar each. And that just made me so happy. Speaking of Passover, um, we usually get some kind of grape juice for Passover. Again, this is, um, anyway, it's the same brand and we usually get this, um, brand for Passover. So we'll probably be, uh, we'll probably get the regular grape juice for Passover, but this is just, you know, in, in the spring season, it's obviously, it's not alcoholic. It's just grape juice that's sparkling and it's actually really tasty. So I highly recommend it. But anyway, these were a dollar fifty each at my discount store. And I was like, Hey, we'll have some for that. That's a great deal. Creamy garlic shells. You guys, this is my favorite of the uh, pre-packaged pastas. Uh, Rick's, it's not Rick's favorite, but it is my favorite. <laughs> so I grabbed two of them because I almost never see them at the discount store. They're a dollar each. And I was very thankful to get it. Barbecue sauce. We were talking about having barbecue chicken. We haven't had it in a while. $1.29 for this. Did I mention I'd already bought a brown gravy mix? I did. A dollar for this whole container. I, I tell you, I totally forgot about it, but it's just like a common thing. And then another thing I got was this extra virgin olive oil, and it was $6.99 because I'm running out. But it's a very large uh, 25.4 ounces, and yeah, that's something good to have for cooking. But look, <laughs> this was something I was really excited about. So I don't know about you guys. Um, but I like to watch this lady on Instagram. Her name is Lily Lou Tay. And she makes food and her and her husband are so cute together. And she always talks about this Everglades seasoning. And I've never ever seen it until she started doing her videos. Well, lo and behold, I'm in my discount grocery store. And I see Everglades seasoning for $1.99. I'm like, if I am not going to try me some Lily Lou Tay's Everglades seasoning. I mean, I've just got to do it. So I don't know if she's on YouTube or not. I just see her every now and then. It's, you know, I'm, I follow her on Instagram. I don't know anything about her. I, I can't, you know, if you want to check her out, she makes, like I said, recipes. They're so cute. But $1.99, I was like, let me try some Everglades seasoning. So 
I don't know how much this normally costs, but I'm just going to give it a try. I'll let you know what I think of it. But that was my excitement of this trip was that I found that Everglades season. Made me really happy. So anyway, $60 for all of this. I mean, when you consider the loaves of bread are normally $5 each, that's like $10 right there. That thing of olive oil is probably $10. And then add all the fruits and vegetables and the meat. I actually think we did really, really good in terms of savings on this trip. $60 worth of food is probably at least worth $90 to $100 if we got it at a regular store. So some really good stock up items and just basics to have around the house. And we are good for another week. So there you go. That's our grocery haul. Whew. All right. So my house is a mess. We just got done shopping and we went to the thrift store the other day. And I, you've already seen a little sneak peek because I am going to have a thrift haul for you that includes that little item that you saw. But of course, you know, whenever I buy something from the thrift store and I got, I got it from the bins, from the Goodwill bins, it immediately comes home and gets washed. So I've got to wash everything and then set it aside so I can make a video on it. So everything is uh, washed and being dried. And as soon as I get it all ready, I will be making a thrift haul for you guys to check out. Cause we, I'm telling you, we've been finding some good deals at the thrift store. So anyway, but I'm really excited you guys are here and I'm, I think we did pretty good this week. We are about out after this. I only got a couple things in me and we are down to like four whole chickens, a little bit of ground beef, some breakfast stuff, some fish. I mean, we still have plenty for the week, but it's going to be about time to start stocking up again. <laughs> so we'll see what happens next week. You guys can come back and see, see how it goes. Hopefully I find some good deals, but anyway. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our little $60 haul. And um, Rick's going to bag better next time. All right. <laughs> you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.